If you've asked the question when you'd move from a stock main bolt to an ARP main stud in 8740 or in 625, or when you move from a stock main cap into a billet main cap, some of it's up for debate and some of it's not. If you're doing a rebuild, you're not gonna chase down new factory bolts. So you'd buy an 8740 ARP main stud kit. These main stud kits are manufactured out of the top two grades of 8740 material, seamless, defect free, processes at ARP are excellent. It's a great piece of hardware. From there, you may move to a billet main cap. Uh, people have broke main caps anywhere over, it seems like a thousand wheel, you're playing with fire. And the problem is, if you don't main cap the engine and greed gets the best of you and you start to increase the power level of the engine to go back and put main caps on an already built engine, you're, you're doing the whole job again. And it's, uh, it's expensive and um, labor intensive and time consuming. So if you're going to make anywhere near a thousand, just put billet main caps on your block. From there, you can move to a 625 material. The 625 custom age material is about 37% stronger than the 8740 more clamp holding that main cap in place. Now, it's a deep skirt block, two fasteners per main, and less than one rod per main because it's spread against seven mains. So the main caps stay in place pretty well, but if you're over that 1300 horsepower mark, you'll start to move that cap around and go into that 625 main stud makes sense at that point. But I don't know of a scenario that you wouldn't at least go to a 8740 main stud kit because you're going to line hone your used engine and make sure that the main tunnel is in correct form for a rebuild and for a trouble-free service life moving forward.